What's going on this morning, family? Black Phoenix checking in. I'm inside of the container storefront right now. The shipping container conversion. Just giving you some updates. We uh, painted, primed the top. We got the sides. They primed. We still got to paint the sides. It's going to be like a gray color. Um, the top is actually primed in flat white. So, as you see, we have a few things going. So, it's coming on along, man. Uh, had to stop through here and go uh, come pick up something. So, while I was here, I wanted to kind of give you an update. So, we still have a few things to do. We're actually going to frame out the window around there. That's going to be real neat. So, we got a few sticks left for that. <clears throat> and I believe we're going to also, I'm going to have to go pick a few sticks up. I think I need, if I got two now... We do that. I think I need two more. So we need four complete. Yeah, four complete sticks because we're going to run a, a trim all the way around the wall just to make it neat. I seen another one like that and it was pretty neat. So we're going to run a trim all the way around and then we're going to trim around that. So it's just to make it pretty cool. Uh, I seen one that I liked it and uh, it was like this. So, like I say, uh, we're getting everything together. Making action speak loud in words, lining it out. I actually got my other <clears throat> piece of plywood that I already got the tape on it. Um, I just got to bring it in here and put it put it up. So we're probably probably gonna jump on that today and go and throw it up there, and that way I'm finished. And then I can put the extra because I got an extra um, deal I was gonna put on the wall, but we're gonna be welding and it's gonna be you know a little dirty from messing with metal. So I wanted just something that was easy to clean up. And that way, you know, to keep it. And then when it when that time comes, because this is a conversion, we're going to be converting this area from being the welding booth to actually a bathroom. So it'll be a shower, toilet, you know, a bathroom set up. And that's why I made sure that it was five feet. We got five feet in here to play with and uh, everything is insulated. The only thing that we're going to have to fall back and actually insulate would be this wall there is no insulation inside of this wall but everything else is insulated and i didn't insulate this wall but when i get ready to turn it into a conversion for the bathroom we'll put insulation inside this wall so and this wall to here right now it's not no insulation in that wall but it's insulation all the way around the substructure of the frame so that's what we're doing we got a, a reclaimed wood we're going to make a, a dope reclaim wood wall uh backdrop for those who've been supporting the movement those who've been uh donating i want to actually make a permanent structure for those who just you know was a part of the movement and then we also gonna have a board um that will support those who want to be a part of the movement like those who want to support uh, the hog on movement, um, us building the school, us getting out with the podcast or just building products or just supporting us to go out and help us um, when it comes to educating those who are really, really wanting to get educated. So our goal is to set it up where, you know, we can help get some people trained, get some people some knowledge, uh, some certifications, uh, start their businesses, hear their stories. And we're coming up with the podcast, which actually going to be talking about independent grinders uh their stories their unorthodox um business strategies and techniques so we're going to be focusing on things like that because i know a lot of people want to be independent so i want to literally focus on the independent entrepreneur the independent person the independent business if you're independent i want to uh, know your story and if you're black and independent i most Definitely want to know your story because we need to encourage our, our youth and those who thinking that it's only one way to do it. And if you got a unique story that haven't probably been shared or you didn't did some time and incarcerated and you didn't got out and did something and, and, and you were OG and you just, you know, chilling, doing your thing, but you got a unique story, man. Hey, it's a good time to share it, man. And it'll be a good time to share it on my platform. My goal is to help those others that's coming up under us know that there is a better way and that we can get a hog on we can hustle over grounded obstacles naturally like we can we just got to get the game utilize it and make the best out of it so i want to lead by example with my hog on cafe showing you that you know 
not only will we be doing a podcast out of this and selling our products and showing you and selling our services too, but we'll be showing you that we actually literally built this with our hands. And we've been getting a lot of footage and archives to show you that we did this. Um, we had a vision first and then we start working on the vision. And then after we did that, we started initiating it and we built everything. So um, just wanted to say, man, anything that's possible. I wanted to lead by example and show you what you can do. I built this conversion with my hands, literally fabricated it, designed it, engineered it. And now I'm building others independence. You know what I mean? I took a 40 foot shipping container that was a high cube. That's the other end. I sold it to this lady here. She turned it into a storage facility. Um, so it's a lot you can do. And that's what I want to teach you how to get a 40 foot conversion, a 40 foot shipping container or a 45 foot, cut it in half, turn it into a conversion. You can even keep one of them, sell the other one and start flipping or you can sell both of them and then go back in and get your four. So it's so much you can do, man. I just want to show you how to think outside of the box because you can help build somebody else independence barbershop salon office call center uh, uh coaching's um coaching facility merch stand whatever it is business cafe bar <laughs> home um whatever man like it's it's, it's limitless man so uh y'all stay in tune with me check out the website www.hogonwelding that's www.hogonwelding uh get with us man we're gonna be doing big things coming into 2021 hog on